นตังคัมมังคัตังสัตุยังคัตวะอนุตัปปตียัสสัสสุมุขโรดังวิปัปังปฏิเสธิโอเค listen to it again นตังคัมมังคัตังสัตุยังคัตวะอนุตัปปตียัสสัสสุมุขโรดังวิปัปังปฏิเสธิ Listen to it again three times at least. นตังคัมมังคัตังสัตุยังคัตวะอนุตัปปตียัสสัสสุมุขโรดังวิปัปังปฏิเสธิโอเค Let us see the this t h e s e n s e again in my voice. Um, I don't promise to recite as beautifully as this young monk did, but in my uh, broken bell sign sight sound, you can hear it. Okay, you must repeat line by line as I recite. Repeat after me. Natang kamang katang sadhu. Natam kamang katang sadhu. Yang katwa anutapati. Yang katwa anutapati. ยัสอัสสุมุขโรดังยัสอัสสุมุขโรดังวิปัคคังปฏิเสวตีวิปัคคังปฏิเสวตี again นตังคัมมังคัตังสัตุนตังคัมคัมมังคัตังสัตุยังกัตวะอนุตัปปติยังยังกัตวะอนุตัปปติยัสอัสสุมุขโรดังยัสอัสสุมุขโรดังวิปัคคังปฏิเสวตีวิปัคคังปฏิเสวตีโอเค two line by two line นตังคัมมังคัตังสัตุยังคัตวะอนุตัปปตินตังคัมคัมมังคัตังสัตุยังคัตวะอนุตัปปติยัสอัสสุมุขโรดังวิปัคคังปฏิเสวตียัสสัสสุขโคโรดังดังปิปาคังคัมปฏิเสวัติ Then listen to the whole stanza once again. นตังคัมมังคัตังสัตุยังคัตวะอนุตัปปตียัสสัสสุมุขโรดังวิปัคคังปฏิเสธิ Okay, now let us see the meaning. N is not tang that kamang did. Kamang is Whatever you do intentionally, that is a karma deed. Katang done. 
sadhu well. Young witch Katva having done Anutapati one has regret. Oh, one regrets. We don't have to say one has regret, but you can say one regrets. Yes, for which Asumuko Asu tears. Asu. When you recite uh, 31 parts of the body, although we call 32, but there are no 32 in original uh, discourse. Anyway, 32 part, one part of the body, you have to see Asu. Asu Asa Kelo Singha Nikaya Sobhuta. Asu means tears. By mistake, it has ears. Mukho means face. Face. Rodang, weeping. Vipakan, the result. Patisevati follows him round. The meaning is that deed is not well done, which having done, one regrets, for which he has tears on his face, as the result follows him round. Okay. This is very, very important stanza. Every stanza in the Dhammapada <coughs> is important. This is one of them. Now let us see the story behind. When you hear the story behind, then you get the meaning very clear. <coughs> so, one day, uh, a farmer was a uh, farmer, farmer uh, normally farmers go to their uh, rice field or paddy field very early morning and this farmer went to his farm very early morning and he was uh, taking care of the field he did not look around, he just uh, focusing his mind on his job. He, you know, he, he has uh, uh, what do you call mama tea or uh, the digging, uh, what do you call uh, this thing? Uh, he was digging, plowing. And then that night, a band of thieves uh, found a, a very sort of a ditch that the city, uh, the houses drained their water from the, the water that they use in their washing, cleaning and so forth. Uh, that water goes through a certain uh, colored pipe or such some opening. And these thieves, band, this band of thieves, uh, slowly, slowly <coughs> dug a big hole so that they can enter the house. This happened to be a very rich person's house, so the bandits, uh, this uh, having dug this uh, sort of a little cave and uh, entered the house while householders were sleeping. And they had a lot of gold, silver, uh, silver bullion, gold bullion and silver uh, packets uh, and then uh, jewelry and so forth, the uh, pearl, diamond, uh, precious jewels, and so forth, the necklaces, and uh, bangles, earrings, and so forth. People normally, when they sleep, they don't wear all these things, they put in a certain place and sleep. 
So these uh, bandits, these thieves, found all these things and ransacked everything. And by the same, uh, what do you call, cave, uh, they, they uh, left. And when they were uh, running, uh, they were they went to that field where this man was uh, working. Field, uh, and then this uh, bundle of uh, most expensive uh, jewelry and so forth, diamond. Uh, gold and so forth, they open it and share it among themselves. Uh, but there was another, he may be chief of thieves, he had put something in his bosom and uh, he did not want others to know that he has this hidden uh, pressure, pressure in his bosom. He got up and uh, without his knowledge, it fell in the field. And none of them saw it. They all went away. They wanted to uh, uh, escape anyway. Anyway, that day, the Buddha, Buddha every day gets up in the morning, early morning, and he sat in what you call Ma Karuna Samapatti. That means great attainment of attainment of great compassion. Out of compassion for all beings. And then he surveys the world with his supernatural eye to see if there is anybody whom he could help that day. If somebody is uh, uh, Sadda, Virya, Sati, Samadhi, Panya, if somebody is, these spiritual faculties were mature, that means faith, energy, mindfulness, concentration, and wisdom. These are called five spiritual faculties. And if somebody is the five spiritual faculties of somebody are mature and Buddha wanted to help that person to at least attain stream, stream, entry, stream entry, so the partner state. And so the Buddha <coughs> called Ananda, his personal attendant, and walked. Walk it, because this man was not too far away from Savati and it is a farming area. So Buddha asked Venerable Ananda to join him. They both, both walked on this paddy rice field where this farmer was plowing, attending to the field. And Buddha saw this then, uh, this he saw this bundle of precious uh, things, jewelry and so forth, and pointing it to Venerable Ananda, he said, Ananda, have you seen this uh, snake? Snake? So Venerable Ananda noticed it, and Ananda also understood what the Buddha meant, snake. And then, Meanwhile, uh, <clears throat> the this uh, uh, people who uh, whose property was stolen, they uh, got up and then gave a chase to this band of thieves. And they have left their footprints. And then 
they followed and then found the paddy field where this farmer was plowing, working. And they saw this man and uh, went up to him and uh, he asked him whether he saw this bundle of precious stolen spoil, stolen property. He said he did not know. Actually, he did not know. Then he beat him and led him towards this uh, uh, bundle of stolen property. Uh, and meanwhile, actually, before the, the owners of the property came, uh, this man, the farmer, uh, just saw this bundle and he walked up to it and to and saw that it it has the most precious things inside, so he saw it and left it. Then only the house the owners of the property came and uh, uh, went up to him and I said, "You thieves, you are just pretending to be farmer, and you have uh, stolen our property." And the beating him. He led him to the the bundle of expensive things because his footprints were there. Because he, while he was working, he had his feet were muddy. With his muddy feet, he came to the bundle of precious things, and they thought this was the thief. He put them here and then uh, pretend, pretend to be a farmer. So when she. So they saw this. They <clears throat> start beating him and uh, uh, took him to the king. Those king, kings, those days were dictators. They don't listen to anybody. Uh, they went to the king and reported this to king. He sent this uh, police. Arrested him, put him, put handcuff, handcuffed him, uh, and then brought to the king. And uh, then, when he was taken to the, uh, when he was taken to the king, king simply asked them to go and behead him, behead him, cut his head off. That is, there are no lawyers. No witnesses, uh, no asking, no case. Anyway, he was the king. He could do anything those days. Go and kill him. When they were these executioners were leading this man to the uh, uh, place to execute ex execute him, he cried and saying. Uh, uh, Ananda, uh, have you seen the snake? Yes, Venerable Sir, I see it. I see it very venomous snake. These sentences the farmer uttered. This the executioners ask him, "Why do you mutter all these words and mention the Buddha's name? You are a thief." He said, "Sir, take me to the king. I will explain it to the king." So they took him to the king and they asked the king, asked him, "What? Why do you bring them back? Bring him back?" They said, "This is what this man said." And they said they have to make a complaint, and they want the Buddha to be his witness. You see, Buddha wanted him to be. He wanted to the. He wanted the Buddha to be his witness. Then he said, the the Buddha saw this, and Buddha asked him about Ananda. 
Have you seen this snake, poisonous, venomous snake? Venomous Ananda says this and this. Then king thought this man used the Buddha's name and uh, pointed to the Buddha as his witness. So he asked the Buddha. He said, yes, I am the witness. I saw this. This man even did not see this. When we saw this, and uh, perhaps after that he might have seen it. So because of that, the uh, king excused him, not executed. He excused him. He declared him not guilty. And he was, his name was clear. Uh, and then this was reported to the Buddha. Then the Buddha said, I saw all this in advance. I saw what will happen. I therefore, I went to see him, see to help him. He is not a thief. But what is the mistake he made? The deed is not well done, which having done one has one regrets, for which he has tears on his face as a result, result following him round. The mistake he committed was that he saw this from a distance. Instead of ignoring it, he went close by, close to it, to inspect what it was. A stolen property. A stolen property. And that is where the owner of the property came after chasing the thieves, found the farmer's footprints. And they thought because of the his because of his footprints, the farmer was the thief. So that is the mistake he made, unmindfully. So the Buddha gave a sermon, and uh, this is the summary of this sermon. Don't do anything which brings you, which regret, makes you regretful and which brings you tearful face. You know, tears come and your face will be filled with tears on account of two things. One is out of joy, other is out of sorrow. When you are full of joy also you cry, shedding tears. When you are in pain and trouble, suffering, also you cry. For instance, when somebody dies, you cry and cry and cry. When you get a lottery, you will cry and cry, jump, jumping up and down, and tears come. Or your friend comes out a long, long absence, when you see him or her, you will cry. So. And uh, now this is the case of uh, doing unmindful things. Therefore, we must all uh, try to uh, practice uh, mindfulness and do things with mindfulness. So the results, uh, the results that we experience now. Um, are, the, are the the causes are in the in the past? They may be in the past life or past in this own this this very life itself. And the result is nama rupa, mentality and materiality. And then, for following that, 
विज्ञान सलायतन फस जाति जरा मरण शोक परिदेव दुख दो मनस दिस आर द रिजल्ट ऑफ अवर काम फर्स्ट काम एंड देर फो इवन दो वी हैव डोट डन एनी मेजर ऑफेंस और रॉन्ग थिंग स्टिल वी वे आर द फ्रूट ऑफ वट वी हैव डन इन द पास्ट सो वी हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल दैट इज द जिस्ट ऑफ दिस स्टोरी and the summary and the sum uh, the summary of the teaching in this particular stanza now is your turn again to listen to story uh, listen to stanza recite it and then i want you to recite it after that okay okay listen to the stanza once again <laughs> okay here is the stanza साधो यंकुतिशु मुखोद पटिसे okay now you recite after me line by line two line by two lines and then all stanza then your turn to recite okay so repeat after me natam kamam katam sadhu natam kamam katam sadhu yam kat साधु पटिसेवती Okay, you listen to this again. Natang kamang katang sadu yang katwa anutap pati yas asu mukhorodang vipapang patise. Okay, now you decide. Uh, my three and uh, Nipun. Natang kamang katang sadu yang katwa anu tapati yasa asu mukoro dam. विपाकं पति सेवती वेरी गुड नेमी नकम नतम कमम कतम साधु यम कत्वा अनु तापति यस असो मुको रोदम विपाकं पति सेवती My friend Sumana. Natang kamang katang sadu yang katwa anu tapati yase asu mukurudang ipa kang pati sevati. Very good, Inoka. Natang kamang katang sadu yang kat. 
anutapati yasa asu mukurodang vipakam pati sevati good anoma yatam kamang katan sadu yam katpa anutapati Yas asu mukorodam vipakam pati sevati. Okay, jirin ya. Natam kamman katam sadu yam katva anutapati. Yas asu mukorodam vipakam pati sevati. I think Kalina also is there. Yes, Bante. Yes. Natan kamang katang sadhu yang katva anutapati yasa asu mukhoroda vipakang pati sevati. Hiro Yuki. Natan kamang katang sadhu yang katva anutapati yasa asu mukhoroda. Good, Anaya. Natam kamam katam sadhu yam katva anu tapati yasa asu muko rodam vipa kam pati sevati. Good, Maheli. Natam kamam katam sadhu. Yam katva anupati yasa asu mukurodam vipakam pati sevati. Okay, Chandima. Natam kamang katam sadhu yam katva anutapati yasa asu mukurodam Vipa Kampati Sevati. Very good. Today everybody recited very well. Now you all get into the mood of reciting. Is there anybody who has not recited? How about Srima? Ah, Srima. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Srima. Uh, then Srima turns. <coughs> Is she coming? Uh, <laughs> Huh? She, she has not. Uh, she is not ready. She is not ready yet. Okay, then we. Another go. time. Another time. Oh, next time. Next Sunday. Next time, yeah. Kusma inwa ne. Kusma inwa. Oh yeah. Natan kamang katan sadu. Yam katwa anutapati yasasu mukorodam vipakam pati sevati. Very good, very good. Now, don't have to be shy, you all know. Okay, thank you. Now we go to the uh, end of this and then we do some meditation. We have only about 20 minutes to meditate. We want to have one half of this hour uh, for the talk and the next hour is meditation. Now let us do that. Okay. Okay, you can see the screen now? Not yet. Just one day. You can? Yes. Okay, then let us focus on this meta recital. We have done it many, many hundreds of times in the past, 
by now i think you all remember this and but when all the all of us recite it simply be a cacophony so <laughs> so let me recite it by myself may all beings be happy and secure may all beings have happy minds whatever living beings there may be without exception weak or strong long large medium short subtle or gross visible or invisible living near or far or no coming to birth may all beings have happy minds let no one deceive another no despise anyone anywhere neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another as a mother would risk her own life to protect her only child even so towards all living beings one should cultivate a boundless heart one should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless love and friendliness above below and all around unobstructed without hatred or resentment whether standing walking sitting lying down or when awake one should develop this mindfulness this is called divinely dwelling here not falling into erroneous views but virtuous and endowed with vision removing the desire for sensual pleasures one comes never again to birth in the womb this is a very very wonderful thought that we must cultivate not only this moment but all our life with this background let us spend next at least 20 minutes in meditation you may sit in a comfortable posture and de- to breathe deeply and breathe out deeply so that you, you will get a lot of oxygen lung full of oxygen that charge your all hemoglobin or red blood cell that go to the heart heart pumps all over the body recharging all the 56 trillion cells this is how this inhaling and exhaling conditions this body and this is absolute and necessary most important function in our life breathing but we use this breath for our meditation practice focusing on it while we are doing that we notice feelings perceptions thought consciousness they all constantly change while we are inhaling they change while we are exhaling they change but we don't notice these changes and yet they do this is what we call impermanence change means impermanent nothing remains the same for even for two consecutive moments they keep changing changing all the time what do we want to do that we want to do that because we want to let go of our clinging our craving and we want to see our suffering we want to see selflessness anicca dukkha anatta something is impermanent that is unsatisfactory something is unsatisfactory is without self when we see this we naturally become aware of the fact that this is not mine this i am not this is not myself netam mama ne so hamasmi ne me so atta tanna mana ditti when we say this uh, this is mine we attack tanna craving when we say this i am not we attack mana conceit when we say this is not myself we attack the notion of permanent self getting rid of <coughs> tanna mana ditti is also very important in meditation practice 
So we keep doing it again and again and again. And one day we will be able to really get rid of our Tanna Mana Bhitti. We cannot do this without starting. And we do. We start and continue to do that. Okay, with this I end my talk and you practice meditation.
By means of this meritorious deed, may I never join with the foolish, may I join always with the wise, until the time I attain Ibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering, may the fear struck be free from fear, may the grieving be free from grief, so too may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Thank you. Now, friends, this is the end of our session. Let me end this with additional metta recital. In our Sunday afternoon session, comprises of four segments, metta practice, mindfulness practice, studies Dhamma and learn Pali and uh, share marriage with everybody. These are the segments of this afternoon session, although they are short, 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 but when we repeat it again and again, especially reciting Pali, memorizing Pali words, reading the Dhammapada stanza, there are 423 of them. We recited almost 60, more than 60 of them. And we slowly and gradually want to finish the learning the entire Dhammapada. Okay, now, may all those who are in hospitals suffering from various diseases. May they recover very soon and uh, return to normal life. Practice Dhamma, continuous Dhamma practice, meditation, and liberate from samsaric suffering. All the doctors, nurses, and hospital staff that take care of these people, sacrificing their comfort, sometimes risking their own life out of compassion to help, help these people. May they all find time. I know some of our doctors practice meditation in addition to their medical practice. And they all find peace, happiness, and liberate from samsaric suffering. May all those who have lost their loved ones, grieving the death of their loved ones, may they be free from grief and understand the nature of Dhamma, practice meditation, and understand the Dhamma and attain liberation from suffering. May those who are in various trouble spots, war zones, discriminations, poverty-stricken area, may they all find time to practice Dhamma, meditation, and liberate themselves from suffering. All those who are in the northern direction, northeastern direction, eastern direction, southeastern direction, southern direction, southwestern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, up and down. All beings in these ten directions be well, happy, and peaceful. That is how we end our session and keep this thought in mind and have a very wonderful day, wonderful evening. Irwan Saranai Bante. Irwan Saranai Bante. Thank you. Irwan Saranai Bante. Irwan Saranai. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you.